Happy Valentine's Day. <laughs> What'd you get? I already have this. No, you don't. No, you don't. It's a new one. What are their names? Fluffy. Fluffy. <laughs> Guess what his name is before, what? or the don't you gotta guess before you read it. Huh? Valentine's. <laughs> uh, Mandy. What is it? Mandy. Oh, it's cute. Where you? Thank you. <laughs> what a chase kid. Just chocolates and gum. Gum. There's the Dieters. <laughs> you want some chocolate? Tori, you're not getting chocolates. You don't get chocolates. The camera on Tori's head like a GoPro. GoPro, GoPro. <laughs> Happy Valentine's Day. Please play with me. Play with me, Tori. Play with me. Right. Piggy back ride. <laughs> That's Shaggy out growling in the growling in the hallway. It's still on your back, Tori. Get it, it's still on your back. It's gonna eat you. Get it. <laughs> Look at her, she doesn't even care. She's such a weirdo. Happy Valentine's Day. <laughs> Ah, Sasser's got a Valentine. Okay, I'm gonna go get Blake and Chase, and we're gonna give them their Valentine's present. It's just chocolate and gum, nothing huge or whatever. But uh, I'm just gonna set the camera over here, and maybe Blake won't notice that I have it on. <laughs> Happy Valentine's. Where are you going? Upstairs. Why are you taking it upstairs? Chocolate. <laughs> Are you going to take that up to your room? What do you say? Thank you. I don't know. Yeah. I thought you guys liked to have it really? after school. Yes. That's because of Blake. <laughs> take your gun. Oh, shh. Don't let me see. Don't let me see. Right. He caught me. I tried. Okay, so I know after I got my Valentine's Day presents and my chocolates, there was not very much things to do. So people have been asking this, but we did make an original Pipsqueak house tour, but everyone still asks, what does Pipsqueak's house look like? Well, he's got many houses inside of his house, but... So this is his whole cage. And then, here's the inside, and this is... He's actually inside here, but this is his little orange cage. I'm sorry, Pipsqueak. As you can see, it's got like a little farm printed on the side. Same on this side. And then it's got like a little stairway on the back. It almost looks like one of those houses from Star Wars. <clears throat> I'm sorry, Pipsqueak. This is like a salt ball, I guess. It's a circle though, I don't really know what it's called, but I'll show you Pipsqueak's bin of all his food. So then this is his little tunnel, but this one is special because it's edible. He can chew on it. And then that one is just like uh, like a toilet paper roll, but it's not like where you can just rip it easily. It's more thick. And then that's his wheel. We already made a video. We'll put the link in the description of Pipsqueak's bigger wheel. Ah! And then that is his food. 
So I know maybe some of you are wondering, every time you see Pipsqueak's food dish, you see those little things. Actually, Pipsqueak likes everything in his snack food besides these little treats. I don't know why, but ah, it's blurry. It's just how Pipsqueak is. And this is his pink castle. We were going to move the orange castle here because he likes it more and he likes to sleep in it but he mostly likes to just sleep in this area so we were gonna switch them but my mom said she doesn't want him sleeping in the other room she likes this one because it has holes so it will be a lot more safer and then that is just his water dish so <coughs> that's mostly it so and then that's his little stick that it's chewable because hamsters like to chew wood, so that's mostly it for Pipsqueak's little cage. But then I'll show you his little box of food and all kinds of his crazy stuff. So this is his food. It is... Uh, these are his yogurt treats. I give him two a week. I know most of you say you're only supposed to give him one, but I give him... Two a week, I don't give them one daily. And here they are. They're called salt savers. And then here is his old wheel that people said we needed a bigger one, so we got a new one. So here's his little sticks. That little hamster looks like them. Right there. Those are his sticks. And when you first give him the, like when you first give him the whole stick, He'll go crazy, he'll try and bite, I don't know, it's just weird, but he still enjoys them. These are rice puffs. He does not eat these colors, he only likes the yellow, I don't know if they're like all different flavors, they must be because he won't eat these, he'll only eat the color yellow. So, <coughs> and then this we took out of his cage because he didn't really chew on this like we expected he would. But, we'll put it in another time, I guess. This, his bell, he rang it like way too much, so we had to take it out. And if you're wondering, why is there a giant space? Because a salt savior actually used to be right there. So, and then this is his bag of his big chunks of food. But most of you remember this. Why don't we give you a yogurt treat, Pipsqueak? Watch this. Pipsqueak, um, won't eat anything, like, on, well, I mean, he'll eat stuff, but when I give him a yogurt treat, then I feed him, hand feed him another treat, he'll just keep eating nonstop, but I don't want to overfeed him. So, hi. Here, you want a yogurt treat? Yeah, you want a yogurt treat. How about, see look, here's those little pieces. I think he might eat one squeak. See, he doesn't like them. And his favorite thing, the sunflower seed. So, squeak. here, come here. No, you need to come out, please. I wanna give you your, I'm just gonna, I'm sorry Pipsqueak, but please. See, he loves those. Now I'll hide you again. And he loves the corn. So, the question of the day is, do you get Monday off school for President's Day? And what are you doing if you get school off? I'm actually getting my eyes checked. And really quickly, I just want to show you what I got for Valentine's Day. And I got... A little lion and a bear and if you want to see more of those that I have I have a Beanie Boos collection and I'll put the link in the description and I got a little um candy box so hi guys so I actually told Carly that we were maybe not even gonna upload a video for ah. Sunday or maybe we're just gonna end up doing a one take Sunday and upload it later in the day because the only footage that we had got was when I gave the kids their Valentine presents earlier. And then Ken and Chase got home from wrestling and I went down in the basement and watched um, 
a movie with Ken. Wait, did you watch that we 3D watched, movie? Um, no, we watched a movie called Theory of Everything. Um, that was really good. And I actually started falling asleep during the movie. <laughs> And then oh, typical mom. I made homemade chicken noodle soup for dinner in the crock pot, so we ate dinner, and I actually fell asleep on the couch, and oh I told Carly, I'm like, babe, it's nine, I don't, nine o'clock at night, I don't even think we're going to have a video for tomorrow, as She's going to make us film a challenge. <laughs> my, yeah, we were supposed to do a challenge, and my voice is horrible, and Carly's so still sick, I just can't believe this has been dragging out for like a week and I thought today I would be better and instead now it's getting worse so I don't even know how much footage we got for today it's crazy when you feel so committed to uploading a video every single day and Ken was like don't worry about it you know this is your life if you're sick you're sick but if you're a YouTuber you know that you do feel um, a certain amount of overwhelmed. commitment <laughs> yeah overwhelmed so, sorry if this video ends up being lame. I'll do the best with the footage tomorrow. I don't even know what's on the camera. Carly said she filmed a bunch of stuff. So, alright guys. So, we're going to say goodnight. We hope you had a great Valentine's Day. Thanks for watching, you guys. And Carly's got her arm right on my hair. Ow. Alright, we'll see you tomorrow. Bye. And actually, the kids don't have school Monday. So, we'll make sure we get a challenge video in in these next couple days. Okay? Bye. <laughs> Thank you.